going on to YouTube? This morning we're going to be doing a review on the Tough Bill 16 inch tool tote. We'll be back in a couple What's seconds. up there, YouTube? Good morning, everybody. Um, today's the day. I hope everybody's doing good. Who's ever going to be listening and watching this video? Hopefully, you're all right. You're good. It's a blistering cold day here in Buffalo, New York. It's like minus 12 with the wind chills. Um, so hopefully everybody's safe and staying warm. Today's Saturday, February 4th. We're going to be doing a review on this 16-inch tough-built tool tote. Um, I tried a couple minutes ago uploading a video, and I was not happy with the way it came out, so I deleted it. And we're going to try again. I'm going to try to do it a lot faster this time. The other video was almost half hour. So I'm going to try to do it as fast as possible. Again, this is a tough built 16 inch tool tote. I want to thank everybody for subscribing to the channel. Um, um, we appreciate it very much. I do. Um, quick background. Um, I used to do apartment maintenance. I did apartment maintenance for almost four years during, during that time. Um, I amassed and I accumulated a lot of tools. Um, as you can see, I got a couple of Vito bags, uh, TPXXL, TPXL High Viz, TP5B, um, Vito MC. I got a Harbor Freight um, Hercules tool bag there as well. I also got a couple of Vito bags here. Um, I am currently not working in apartment maintenance anymore. Um, I went to a different career path. Um, so many of these tools I do not use on a daily basis. Um, so this is mainly my uh, my kit for the house. As a homeowner and people who are listening that own their own homes, um, understand that every once in a while there's projects that have to be done. Things uh, come up that we're not expecting. A leaky hot water tank, furnace stops working. Uh, electrical issues and uh, this is the bag that I use um, if things like that were to happen um, I also have a plumbing bag right there Hercules uh, tote as well that's uh, mainly for plumbing but this takes care of everything else um, like I said um, I made a video a short a couple days ago stating that I cleaned my tools um, I like to have my tools clean. Um, that's just the way I like to do things. Um, we're all different. Everybody has their own way of doing things, and uh, I respect that. So um, I'm going to start right away um, doing this uh, loadout. Again, I appreciate everybody that has subscribed to the channel. Um, hopefully you like this video. Um, any suggestions, let me know. Um, I want to try to put out the best content as I can. Like I said, this is not my main source of income. Um, I do this because I like making videos. And it keeps me busy. And I like doing it as a hobby. So, for everybody who's like me, that especially on the weekends, uh, uh, goes on YouTube and searches for videos of other tool bags, um, I welcome you to the channel. And hopefully you enjoy this video. And hopefully you enjoy um, this tough built um, 16 inch uh, tool tote. Let's get it started, guys. Um, we're going to start on the outside. We're going to go all the way around and then we're going to focus on the inside of the bag. Um, here we go. Have a six inch torpedo level from M Empire Lennox. Nine in one. Lennox nine in one multi bit screwdriver. Fixed blade, the Watt utility knife. Have an 8 inch Pittsburgh. This is the first set I bought years ago. It came in a four pack. I got a 10, I got a 12, 10, 8, and 6 in the pack. Uh, crescent wrench. Um, another 8 inch. Um, I think this is from the brand Crescent. It had like a rubber, like a rubber, uh, uh, molding on it um but i took it off it was pretty old it was all beat up so i took it off and uh 
I use it like that now. I have a set of SAE Pittsburgh um, hex key set. I'm gonna start putting everything in this black mat here. So um, let's keep it going. Gold black uh, scraper. Like I said, I've noticed in many of these videos, sometimes the guys have a brain fart or brain freeze and forget uh, <laughs> the names of the tools. So uh, be on the lookout in case that happens uh, during this video. I have two channel locks. They're both 10 inches. This one has more of a 45 angle to it. As you can see, this one's more of a 90 degree. But, um useful I have a small six inch little pry bar moldings and things like that I have an inspection mirror i have a magnetic pickup tool craftsman here we go i have uh three wera screwdriver i got the whole set but i carry these three i have a slotted look at the teeth uh, Allegedly, that grips the screws better. The focusing on this camera is not too good. So, anyway, um, it has like little marks on there, markings that um, helps you grip the screws better. And you can see them right there. Um, I have the rest of the set. I have no idea where it's got to be in one of the other bags, but those are insulated screwdrivers. Um, 25 foot Milwaukee tape measure. I have a hex key. This hex, hex key belongs to the uh, multi tool I have there, 12 volt Milwaukee multi tool I have there. Um, and when I change the blades or whatever, I have to use this hex key to take the heads off in the different blades. I got a carpenter pencil. I have a, another small husky level here. This one's a magnetic. This one's all right. I like this little level. I have a, a Sharpie, I have a pen, Klein um, wire cutter. It also has a crimper in the middle there. Um, I got this one during the Christmas season uh, for the holidays from Home Depot. Um, I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, I've tried to grease it up, lube it up, and it's so hard to open. So, yeah, I have a Dasco um, pry bar, got a big one, I got the small one here as well, another Dasco Pro little pry bar, voltage tester, Klein, I do not mess around with live electrical um, at all. Anytime I got to do anything here at the house or for my parents or for anybody else, I shut the power off. And I'm going to let you guys know later on why. You learn from experiences, right? And I had a, a bad experience when I was working in apartment maintenance. Um, in an apartment, uh, switching out a light fixture. And uh, I'm, I'm going to show you the impact I was using. And I hit one of the wires with it. And it exploded right in my face. Thank God I was good, but... It gave a good little couple little marks on the impact. I'll show you guys in a couple minutes. Um, it comes with a strap. Um, this here, especially the bigger bags, um, have this rail on there. Um, and this system comes with smaller pouches. I'm going to come here for one second. Well, I guess I put it back. Let me walk over here. Oh, let me, let me get it out of here. So... These small pouches here, um, this is like a mo modular system, modular system. Um, these little bags, if you were to hit this button, as you can see, that little clip here could be put here. You place it here, that way you could interchange what pouches you wanted to use at the job. Um... You could put electrical, you could put um, different things here. And if you're just using the pouch, you could put the tools from the, the tote, stick them in here and walk around. You could put this on your belt. This goes on your belt. That way you stick it, you stick the pouch on the side, like so, and you could remove it. 
Um, you know, whenever you need it, or wherever you're walking around, you can have it. Um, you know, probably get a little bit heavy, probably drag your belt down. But, Or if you just want to save pockets from the tool tote and take most of those hand tools and put them here, you can also do that and carry it on the side as well. Um, I personally don't use it that way, so let me stick this here. Um, let's keep on going around the back. I have a Klein Linesman. I have a pair of, these are high leverage Kinepex uh, dikes or side cutters. Like I said in the beginning of the video, um, my, uh, my uh, job changed a couple years ago. Um, so I'm not long, no longer working apartment maintenance. Uh, so these tools will not get used on a daily basis. That's why most of them look uh, pretty clean. On top of that, I clean them. Whether I use them or not, I always try to keep them nice and clean. That's just the way I like to do things. Um, also, here we go. Um, long. The first screwdriver I've ever had. This was a gift from my father. This screwdriver is great, especially this long. When you're changing doorknobs or door handles on doors, you know those two screws on the sides? When you're removing a, a door handle or doorknob, it's such a tight, a tight spot to try to do with one of these is uncomfortable. But this long one gets in there pretty straight and you can take them out um, pretty good and pretty easily. I have another um, flathead screwdriver I use this more as a beater or pry bar. I do not hit it over the top. Obviously, this one doesn't have a metal cap. I like other screwdrivers that are made um, for uh, demolition. But if I, could, if I use it as a pry bar, then um, that's what I do. A pair of uh, Husky work gloves. Um, I have this uh, container here. Um, this small container was on sale during the holiday season um, from Home Depot. It came in a, in a pack of five. You got four. Of, of this size and then a bigger one. So I think it was for like $10. I bought one of them and it fits, it fits in this spot perfectly. And I filled it up with, you know, screws and things like that. And it goes in, as you can see right there. This bag has so much spot and space in it, it's incredible. Um, I have uh, some 12 volt power tools in Milwaukee. I'll be taking those out in a couple minutes. Um, I'm trying to move uh, kind of fast. I don't want to make this video too long. I'm trying to keep it under 20 minutes, so let's see what happens. But like I said, um, I have some self-tapping screws, some wall anchors, some drive uh, drywall screws there. And this is a little compartment, as you can see. You keep, keep different bits there, other extensions there for the impact. That usually goes in that spot. I'll put that there for now. I have a 12 inch um, channel lock in the bag. I also, I purchased, and there's a couple tools here from Cobalt that I purchased during the holiday season. They had them on sale for like 10 bucks, a couple of those pliers sets and things like this. I got this on clearance like two weeks ago from 14.98, it was at seven bucks. It's a Cobalt double drive screwdriver. There's bits inside here, which is kind of difficult with uh, um, one hand to try to open. But um, here we go. And my wife's upstairs banging on something. I don't know what she's doing. But I tried earlier <laughs> to make this video when it was nice and quiet. And um, I did not like the way it came out. So we're here trying another one. All right, guys. I have a temperature gun from General. Keep that in there as well. I love these headlamps from coast these things are super bright look at that you could have it as a flood and you could also if you turn the head let me try to do this with one hand you could also make it as a spotlight i bought i bought several packs of these a couple years ago they had them on a two pack at home depot for twenty dollars i think i bought like four packs i got them all over the place i got a whole bunch of i got there's probably one in each one of those bags one of those headlamps they're great it takes like four it takes three triple a batteries and it lasts forever and they're really bright really good headlamp 
I have two uh, screwdrivers here, a thin, uh, long shank flathead. I have a square number two screwdriver, um, six inch side cutter from Cobalt, six inch needle nose from Cobalt. This set here, let me try to make room here for one second. I appreciate your patience. Thank you very much. This set here that I'll be taking out, um, this plier set here is uh, supposed to be high leverage um, from Cobalt. They had them on they had them on sale for twelve ninety eight during the holiday season for Black Friday and for Christmas. So um, I bought a pack of them. Um, haven't used them at all. Like I said, I mean they're just sitting here in the in, in the bag until the moment comes where I need them. Um, so I cannot make a review. I cannot tell you. I cannot tell you guys how how they work because I haven't used them yet. You know. So here we go. Some more. Um, cobalt six inch slip joint pliers. Cobalt seven inch um, linesman plier. I have a set of Wiss or Weiss. I think it's Wiss. Um, tin snips. I have a 10 inch Husky uh, Crescent wrench. I have a set of Makita um, socket set. It comes with the with the bit for the impact driver. I've had this for a couple years already. I bought this a couple Christmases ago as well. Pretty good set. I have an Est S wing cat's paw. I don't know if you guys ever use these, but I used to love this for doing back plates uh, when I was uh, uh, turning apartments. Taking the plates up the walls before I paint the house, the apartment. Two or three spins and the plates were long gone. It was great. Eight inch channel lock nail puller. Um, Malco flue pipe crimper. Nice crimper. I have a skill that then is a three volt uh, screwdriver. Like I said, for back plates and small things. Uh, you know, removing fixtures and things like that from the wall and the ceilings. Um, works okay. I have a... This is the jab saw. Which, you could remove the blades. Yeah, I, I would love to open it for you guys, but with one hand, it's kind of difficult. But, you press the button, or you press this. You push this to the side, and you could remove the blade... Depending if you're doing drywall or cutting wood or whatever, you can interchange blades. It's like a, a mini uh, sawzall in your hand. Um, so that's pretty pretty cool. You could change the blades and put a scraper or anything or or use regular sawzall blades on there, you know, to use from Milwaukee. Got this brush. They stopped making these brushes at Home Depot. Now they get make. I, I love this. I love this. Um, changing faucets out underneath the cabinets, dirty, grime, take this off, take the brush to it, clean it up real nice. You got more than enough room. It's got like a scraper in the side there too. Good brushes. I don't make those anymore. I went to get a couple more and um, they don't, they don't sell them. They changed them. So here we go. I got, um, Milwaukee multi-tool. This is the brush version, very old speed, um, these tools are amazing. This is this is one of the best tools ever invented. For everybody who uses this, this will get you out of a jam. That's this is it's really a multi-tool. I mean, it's it's amazing. Milwaukee 12 volt flashlight. Another small floodlight. This one has a hook on there. You can also take the hook out. And the you know the hook you make make the light. Be parallel. If you're working under a cabinet, you put the battery in there and just angle it up any way you want. Now, I'm going to show you guys something. See those two marks there? That's the reason I don't I do not do any electrical um, with live power. I was messing with uh, uh, changing a, a ceiling fan 
or a fixture. And um, one of the wires touched the impact and it just blew in my face. It sparked. And it made a hole, a little crater there, two of them, on this Milwaukee impact. This is, I think it's Gen, Gen 1 or Gen 2. I mean, there's so many, so many gen, generations now. But um, they work great. And this is the brushless Gen 2 hammer drill. These were the first sets I got when I first started working in um, in apartment maintenance. Well, there you go, guys. All these tools, everything in this map, as you can see, all this, all these tools came from this bag. Tough built, 16 inch tool tote. I mean, so much room. It's got tons of pockets all the way around. Um, and for the price, I think it was like 49 bucks I paid for it um, during Christmas. You can't beat it. Um, if you get it on sale, buy it then. I think its original price is like 68 bucks, 69 bucks at Lowe's. I think it's even more expensive online if you try to get it uh, through Amazon. So there's my review and the loadout of the Tough Built. 16 inch tool tote. Boom. Everything's back in the tool tote. <laughs> Put everything right back. Um, again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, I want to thank uh, all my subscribers. Um, I want to thank you guys for your patience. I don't post often, I don't post every day. Um, like I said, this is not my main source of income, I have a full time job. Um, which I work 10, 12, 13, 14 hours a day, uh, depending on how much work we have. Um, but I will try to post more often. And I want to thank everybody uh, for subscribing to the channel. If this video um, was beneficial, if you liked the video, um, uh, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Give us a like and comment. Um, please try to keep your comments respectful. Um, and that's all we ask. That's all I ask. Um, and like I said, I have other tool bags here. All these bags have tools in them. Um, I do not hoard tools. I'm not a tool hoarder, but I love tools. Um, I don't smoke. I don't do any of that stuff. You know what I mean? But I love uh, I love tools. So every chance I get, I buy them. I don't waste my money on anything else. Um, but I waste it on tools. I love tools. And... Um, so if you guys would like to see loadouts of any of these other bags, um, feel free to comment. All right. Give us a like. Thanks for watching. Um, on behalf of Joe's Toolbox, thank you very much. And until the next video.